It's been a productive few months for Peter Bosch and Bayer Leverkusen. The Dutch coach, who steered his young Dynamic Ajax team to a Europa League final in 2017, is once again forging a team that plays exciting, attacking football with a core of young players. Bosch, who took over at the Bayer Arena after Heiko Herrlich departed in December, inherited a side bursting with talent but falling short of its great potential. A switch to a more creative, exuberant style of play and some key positional shifts have re-energized the Rhineland team, with German wonder kids Julian Brandt and Kai Havertz spearheading the charge. The numbers tell the story clearly. Heiko Herrlich coached the team through 17 games from the start of the 2018-19 season, with Bayer managing 1.4 points per game and scoring 1.5 goals per game and conceding 1.7. Since Peter Bosch took over, Bayer are winning more points per game and scoring a goal a game more, while also conceding fewer. Under Bosch, Bayer have become more possession-focused and play more passes, but have somehow paired this with a greater degree of attacking impetus. They're taking more shots and from better locations, as well as improving their shooting efficiency and reducing the number of shots opponents manage to take against them per game. It's a powerful combination that has seen Bayer Leverkusen shoot up the table, with Bosch's Bayer winning five out of seven matches and only losing to Borussia Mönchengladbach and Borussia Dortmund, both top three sides at the time of the fixture. Key to Bayer Leverkusen's improvement under Bosch has been the philosophy of putting the team's most productive attacking players in positions where they can most affect the outcome of games. While Heiko Herrlich used a variety of formations, including a 4-2-3-1 and variations on the 3-4-3 that saw a double pivot playing behind the attacking line, Bosch has employed an attacking 4-3-3 that uses a single pivot, usually the intelligent passer and screener Charles Aringis, with Julian Brandt and Kai Havertz flanking him as central midfielders playing a kind of hybrid 8-10 role. While Havertz has been exceptional all season, the move back in infield has transformed Brandt's form. Both players have improved their attacking output significantly and, crucially, Brandt is now a far more influential player creatively in his new central role. It's not just Brandt and Havertz who've benefited from Bosch's tactical changes either, with Leon Bailey, Kevin Folland and Karim Bellarabi all posting better minutes per goal involvement figures since Bosch took over. With Brandt and Havertz more central, and both able to push up or roam horizontally, Bayern now offer many more passing options in transition. The defence can bring the ball forwards, and Aringis is also adept at pushing play on to Havertz and Brandt. These two contribute differently to Bayern's newfound attacking style. Brandt, now less isolated than he was on the wing, is able to contribute to build-up by working hard to find space across the pitch and pushing up behind the attacking three. He's lost none of his ability to dribble and break the opposition's defensive lines, but he's now at the heart of the action. While Brandt moves freely across the pitch, as well as towards the danger area, Havertz tends to look for angled passes from the middle before pushing up in support of the attack. Against Fortuna Dusseldorf, Brandt picks up the ball in space, turns and drives forwards. While the ball is sprayed out wide, Havertz continues his run vertically, barely breaking out of a jog, and appears in the danger area to score without any markers picking him up. Both players are dynamic forward runners, which is why they can be characterized as playing a kind of 8-10 hybrid role, at once a central midfielder and a creative attacking one. As this goal against Freiburg shows, Brandt's license to roam allows him to move into space to collect the ball, while Havertz offers a direct vertical running threat. As Brandt bursts forwards, Havertz carries the ball into the channel and then directs a lovely pass back to Brandt, who crosses for Bailey to score. And this goal against Mainz, the first of Brandt's first Bundesliga career brace, shows why having both his most creative players centrally works superbly for Bosch. Havertz pushes up and into space behind the covering midfielder to take a pass from Aringis, while Brandt stays back in space himself. Brandt receives Havertz's pass, plays it forwards and then accelerates, taking the return pass before playing a neat 1-2 with Kevin Follen to score. It's a superb exposition of movement and the change of pace that Brandt brings that makes him and Bayer Leverkusen so lethal. Under Peter Bosch, Bayer Leverkusen look more assured, more dynamic and more threatening. And the results clearly show that Bosch's tactical change to bring his two most dangerous playmakers infield has paid dividends. 
It's an exciting switch that has seen a young creative Bayer Leverkusen move back up the table and bodes well not just for the team, but for the whole of German football. Hi guys! Did you like that? Subscribe here! <laughs> Don't miss any of the Bundesliga action! Subscribe now!